Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Long Dark, a new beginning on our quest to survive in a post-apocalyptic world. This is episode 25. Let's go ahead and resume our game. Okay, when last we left off, we uh, managed to make it to the top upper end of the, uh, the map here. Currently, we are in the trailer here. This is uh, Mountain Town, right? Yeah. Uh, looks like I am pretty thirsty. Uh, we had a good night's sleep, and it looks like we healed most of the damage uh, from the previous episode. We did uh, manage to get all the way into the red, and uh, we could hear our hear the heartbeat. It's a pretty close call there with the, with the wolf, but uh, made a full recovery. Well, just about. Pretty close to a full recovery. And sounds like we've got some wind outside. I would like to check to see if the ptarmigan ever made their way back here. Uh, I'm going to get down low just in case there's a wolf. Let's get our bow out. Let's see what the day looks like. Not too bad. A little on the cold side. A little bit windy. Let's see if our... Uh, See if our friends are back, the uh, ptarmigan. I think they'd be right here if, if they were here. I'll check over here also. Um, there was a deer that was running around here. But uh, yeah, I'm not hearing anything, so maybe I'll head back. Um, so on the menu for today, uh, the agenda, I would like to maybe head down the road a little bit, see if we can come across a bear. Would be nice to get a bear hide curing, as well as the guts, and um, of course we still have a ways to go until we hit level 5 cooking, and I think the bear meat might help us get to that point. Um, but before we do that, I want to head inside and see what, if anything, I need to drop or carry with us. Um, also, we I, I probably want to head into Hush Tripper Valley. I'm guessing. Okay, I've got a bunch of sticks. Uh, I'm gonna leave the tools. Leave the tools right here. I'm kind of curious what our hacksaw condition is. I may want to actually put those to use. How's our hacksaw looking? 80%. Um, I might want to fix that up. Looks like I've got a. Oh, it's a fire hardened arrow. Okay. If that was a real arrow, I'd be more likely to harvest that. I guess we could... Let's see. If I harvest that, I do get a feather, right? How many feathers am I carrying? 33? Wow, okay. Maybe I'll leave some of the feathers here. Uh, you know, I'll just transfer all of them, and then I'll bring back, like... Let's see. Trans... How many... Trans... Let's do, um... Let's do 12. Okay, I've got a lot of lots of oats. Um, what kind of books am I carrying? I do have a sewing book. I've done two out of five hours already on the sewing book. Um, can I get the book? There we go. I think we're doing pretty good on the field dressing. Let's see what our level is here. Mending archery. Cooking, fire starting. Let's see, carcass harvesting is really getting up there. We're almost to level five on that. Cooking is looking real nice. I think a bear would get us up there if I had enough fuel to, uh, to uh, cook all the bear. Um, let's see. I, instead of organizing, I just want to see what I can drop, because I am on the heavy side just a little bit. Looking okay for coal. I do have 16 sticks, but I, I may need some of those if we're going to, if we actually do end up taking a bear down. I've got quite a bit of, um, tea. Maybe I'll drop a couple of those. 
Clothing's looking good. Although, I think I did want to repair something, right? Yeah, we had 55% on our plaid shirt. There's a few things here I could repair. Probably should repair. Um, dog food is ruined. Let's. I'm going to drop that. I'll hang on to the peach pie. When it's time to sleep, I'll probably take that. We may get uh, food poisoning from that. Got lots of torches. Okay, is there anything else I need to drop? Drop a flare. And I think that's good. Looks pretty good. Um, I think I might do a repair. Let's get our shirt back up to good condition. It's going to take 30 minutes. Okay, up to 90%. Um, I'll do the socks. Yeah, I failed. Okay. Hey, mending. Level two. Nice. Every little bit helps. All right, let's go see if we can find this bear. Um, actually, before I go, maybe I will eat. Let me grab the food and see what's in the best condition. So I've got some jerky we could eat. Maybe I'll eat a can of beans. Okay. No sign of the term again. Um, I do like the uh, the idea we could get a, a fire started. Maybe if I hurry before the sun goes away. Yeah. I can get a free fire. I may as well take a torch with us. And i got this meat here. We could cook that up. Kind of funny how events can sort of change your plans. Like I wasn't expecting to actually stop and make a fire here. I was just I was gonna go after the bear, but uh, seeing the opportunity for a free fire without using a match, I mean, can't really pass it up. All right, wait, I gotta add some fuel here. Uh, whoops. Let's put our um, wait, what's going on here? Place, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Place that and grab these. Hey, perfect. 23 minutes. Okay. We're going to peek over here, just in case. Uh, when I did see those tarm again, it was awfully dark. And I uh, can't exactly remember where we saw them. I think it was I think it was here, but I'm not exactly sure. I kind of chased a deer around through here. But I don't see any deer right now. I thought I heard something. I'm just going to check over the hill, see if I can see anything. Well, it's a beautiful day to be in Mountain Town. 
there's no guarantee that the bear is even on the map, you know, at this part. Oh, there are birds. What? They must have just spawned in. Oh, that's crazy. I was just barely here. And, uh... Dang, it's too bad I, I just scared one of them. There's one right there. Oh, I moved. Definitely don't want to get too close. There's one right there. Ah, too high. Got to make sure I don't burn our meat as well. Finally got one. Okay. Let's try it. We're using... Uh, this is our last fire-hardened arrow right here. All right, hold still, little bird. Starting to feel numb. Man, these guys don't stop moving. There he is. Okay. Got him. Oh, shoot. And that scared him as well. Well, we got two, anyway. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Um... Gosh, I don't remember how many arrows I shot. Hopefully I got them all. Time to make more fire hardened arrows, actually. Alright. Meat is cooked. Uh, I need to add some more fuel. I'm not getting warm here. Let's we'll see how, how warm I am. Currently, it feels like negative four, so I gotta add a little bit more fuel. Okay, we should start warming up now. Um, here's a ptarmigan. Four minutes till boiled. Um, let me drop the meat here. That's just a tiny sliver. Okay, let's put this on to cook. Get some more water. Now, if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Okay, we've got all our cooked meat. Um, I'm gonna pick it up. Raw, raw. Okay. Ten minutes. Get a drink. Eight minutes, okay. Um 
I think I'll leave these guys here for when we come back. Hopefully I'll come back with a bear. Bear skin. And then when it's dark inside, I can actually spend time harvesting the feathers. Okay, I should probably drop some tea. Let's get those heating up. Okay. So I'm down to one stick. Kind of worried about the wind that's uh, that's just come up recently. I'm gonna take some torches. in our thermos. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned that the wind is going to blow out my torch. Um, Hunting this bear really is going to depend on being able to get a fire going. Alright, we're going to drink this tea. Let's use one of our torches. You know, I'm going to drop some of these. We'll use this one. Okay, I'm going to take a cedar, and uh, that way if we do come across the bear, I'll have a little bit of fuel. Now there is a wolf that likes to roam around here. Oh, you know what? I think there can actually be a moose up here. There's a deer. Um, I believe up here there's like a uh, kind of a wet area where there might possibly be a moose. I'll try to be quiet. I don't see any markings. I don't think the moose is here right now. So we've got some rabbits here. I think I'm doing okay for cattails. I'm just gonna check real quick. How many cattails do we have? 21? Yeah, I think we're okay. I think this would be a really good place to hunt the moose though, because you got the rocks and that, uh, that log right there.
Oh, looks like there's some crows way up there. The last time I was up here, I got trapped with the bear behind me. And a blizzard rolled in. It got kind of crazy. Pretty, uh, pretty scary for a minute there. And I got stuck in a car with the bear outside. And uh, in order to get past him, I think I drank a cup of coffee just to keep my energy up and just ran. Came face to face with him and just kept running. Just ran right past him. And uh, fortunately it worked out. I was able to get to safety. So we got crows up there and there's some more crows above those trees. I don't even know how to get up there. Nothing. Nothing in the car. I can see their shadow. They're over there. Okay, I'm trying to listen in case the bear comes. Hey, we got a deer kill. Okay. If the bear's not here, if we don't see the bear, I think I might come back to this. Looks like we got the bridge up ahead. I don't hear anything. Uh, I think I see the bear guys. Yeah, I think he's, uh, he's at the other end of the bridge. Well, it'd be nice if I could trail him all the way back to the trailer. Which way is he going? I think he's coming towards us. Okay, I think he sees us. Come on, bear. Every step you take is one step I don't have to take, carrying all that meat. Yep, yeah, come on, bear. My biggest concern right now is the wind.
He's coming. But if this torch goes out, that's going to be a problem. Come on, Bear. I got a long way to go. Although there is, you know, there is that bear den back behind the bear. May have been that, you know, it may have been a good idea to try to take him down closer to his den. Still coming? He's taking his time. All right. Uh. I see a bear. Maybe I'll go up on this log or something. I don't like having the low ground. Hey bear. I'm gonna throw my torch. Try to get his attention. Oh, come on bear. Don't give up on me, bear. Yeah, keep coming. Look, we got this car over here. Come so far. All right, don't lose interest. I'm gonna get a fire going. You stay right there. Sure, getting cold. Let's get a fire right here. Too windy? It's too windy. That's not good. Yeah, I hear you. How about right here? Is this too windy? Getting close. On, oh shoot, he might be too close. <gasps> Don't go out, little fire. Don't go out. Don't go out. Don't go out. Oh gosh. Oh, yeah. oh. Alright, where are you, fire? Or <laughs> where are you, fire? Where are you, bear? This this shot has gotta count. I gotta get it like right between the eyes. Archery, level three. Well, at least we got a, uh, got a fire right by the deer. Uh, let's put this torch out. Okay, I hope this fire doesn't blow out. Well, I was hoping for a one-shot kill there. Obviously didn't pan out the way I wanted it to. But 
but I'm going to go find that bear. 1.9 kilos of meat, 13 minutes, let's go for it. It's still boiled. You know, I don't know why I'm getting a gut. If uh, if I do end up getting that bear, we're gonna have plenty of guts. And the fire's out. Okay, I'm going to check our stats. Let's see if that bear has passed away yet. Bear's killed. He's currently at one. So, he hasn't died yet. Let's get this hide. I think I'm going to go check for the bear now. Um, there's a good chance he's dead now. Bear's killed. Uh, wait. Bear's killed too. Yep, he died. Actually, I want to drop another T. drink one of these teas we'll put the rest in the uh, in the thermos no no oh well I'll drink that one I actually meant to pass time but when I went to pass time it actually uh, finished cooking so let's transfer and then we'll drop that one and that one we use this one. Take the guts and the meat to the road. Well, hopefully we can find the bear, because I think the uh, I think the crows have gone to bed. Drop the hide too. Well, even if our torch blows out now, we're a lot safer knowing the bear has died. I'm just gonna peek over here. Maybe he died down here. Never know. I 
Uh, let's head back. bear maybe he went to his bear den here's the bear den boy that's tiny I thought it was bigger than that Hope he didn't uh, climb into a rock and disappear. Seems like that happens sometimes. And my torch just blew out. I'm not sure I can carry much more. We might have to come back when the crows are out. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. Oh, it's getting dark. Maybe I'll head back to the trailer. We'll uh, wait till morning and then come out and try to find him. Wait, is that him? Oh, I walked right past him. So he did make it kind of close to his den, but that den is not going to be much uh, protection. Where is the den? This right here might be more protection than the bear den. That wind is just too brutal. Okay, I do have some protection behind the bear. But uh, if the wind shifts, it's going to blow our fire out. I don't even know if I can get a fire started behind the bear here. It's too, it's too steep. Ah, this is not, uh, it's not a great situation. Can maybe try over here, make a fire, and then just bring little bits of meat over. Yeah, let's get a torch. Let's start a fire here. Uh, let's go ahead and light it. Yeah, let's do it right here. Well, that could have been real ugly if uh, if I hadn't got the fire started when that bear was right breathing down my neck. That would have been a, Come on. an attack for Come sure. On. Perfect. Okay, let's put our torch out. All right, um, how are we gonna do this? I do wanna drop, I see I probably have too much water. I think I did make a lot of water. Um, I probably should finish cooking this water that I started right there. Let's cook that. Ah, oh, why not, we'll get a little bit more. Okay.
Okay, I need to get warm, so let's get some tea dropped. It's still pretty hot. That's that's good. Um, let's take him out. It's too steep to drop these. Take that and put that in our thermos. We'll drink that. Um, maybe I'll just get some meat to start with. Let's get this cooking. Okay, two hours. We should warm up pretty quickly here. Yeah, we got the three arrows going up now. Okay, one concern I do have is saving my game, so I think I'll just pass time until these are done, and that will save our progress, so let's see, uh, campfire, pass time for one hour, guys, I'll see you in an hour, okay? Okay, nice, got everything, got everything saved, well, let's see, drop those our bow away. Still have an hour and 25 minutes. We're nice and warm. Um, let's see. Let me drop a tea. I'll drop another one. I have some things where I could cook um, as far as tea goes. Do I have any? Yeah, I got some rose hips. Let's put some of these in our thermos. I'm going to drink one. Okay, fire's got an hour and 12 minutes. Um, do I want to let it go out? 
It's going to take two hours to harvest that guy. Maybe I'll try to get some more meat. Let's go for an hour. Yeah. Hopefully the weather holds up. An hour and five minutes. Let's put some more fuel on here. Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, quarter him for an hour. I'm gonna pass time until I'm warm. Right there, that's good. Okay, nice and warm. Okay, I gotta try to cancel this right about the halfway mark, I believe. I think that's the way this works. Hopefully the update hasn't ruined this part. Can't quarter carcass. Uh, oh, shoot. It says I can't quarter it. And the meat has dropped. Oh, wait. No, I did take, take a bunch. That's right. Um, I guess I'll just keep taking chunks of meat off then. Let's go for that. I just don't think I can get a fire going over here on this steep slope. Let's warm up again. Right there. Go get some more meat. I'm going to go for the hide this time. 48 minutes. Uh, let's use our knife. 32 minutes. Ah, peach pie is ruined. I'm sure it's still fine, though. Um, got a little bit of time left. Let's use our saw. 14, let's see. Let's try that. You know, I still want to quarter him. Because then we get all the guts, and if I hadn't already taken the hide, you know, that would give us the hide as well. Okay, that's cooked, cooked. Let's drop these over here. Okay, we are leveling up our cooking. Right, it is it's climbing, guys. It was about the halfway mark, I think. A little bit, maybe a little bit more. But it's getting up there. Okay, I need to warm up again. That's probably good right there. Okay, I got 47 minutes left on the meat. I almost want to get a, you know what, I'm gonna try it. Let's see if I can get a fire by the bear. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know, it should work. It's just pretty exposed. That's the only problem is if the wind shifts, then it's going to blow it out. Got an hour and eleven minutes. Um, I think I have to. Yeah, I've got to wait till he thaws a little bit. It gets down to fifty percent, I think. Seventy-five percent. Uh, okay, I got to get get down to seventy-five percent. How much do I want to take? Um, You know what? I'm going to get some meat over here cooking. May as well put this fire to use. Let's see how much time is left on these. 26 minutes. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Get this cooking. Oh, that was only 33 minutes. Uh, you know, I'll just switch. That's fine. Do that. Okay. Let's try that. Drink almost anything about now. Twenty eight minutes. So part of me wants to comment about the weather and how nice it's been and how it hasn't been a problem for us tonight. But then the other part of me wants to um, realize that that's going to jinx us. Okay. 34 minutes. Oh, shoot. Um, how many torches I can harvest? Let's see where this puts us. Also, I need a drink. Let's drink one of these. Add some fuel. That should be enough. Yeah, I think I think the meat will cook. I think that should be all right. Um, how many other? How many more torches do I have? Don't have very many. Oh wait, I got this one here. Let's harvest this. comes bad weather. I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, this could be a problem. Um... Add a coal. Hopefully, I will get more coal when we go in the cave right by us. Two, why is it still two hours? It should not be two hours. I've already taken so much meat off of this guy. But yeah, I mean, even just getting the guts, it's going to be worth that. Maybe I don't want the guts. Um. 
You know what? I'm just going to go for the meat. An hour and three minutes. How much time is left on these here? 55, 55, an hour and 31. All right. Let's, I'm just going to get all the meat. Um, I'm going to back off just... Wait, hold on. Use the saw. Back up just a little bit to there. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow out our meat. Our, uh, our meat. Blow out our fire. Actually, I hope the meat doesn't burn. Okay, good. The meat did not burn. 47 minutes left. I mean, I'm pretty sure the fire is going to blow out now. Um, I only have a little bit of meat left. So we got everything but the guts. Got all the meat, and it's you know, and it's harvested. That's that's a good part. Uh, even got some of it cooked. Okay, so now I've got to decide what we're gonna take back with us, if anything. I want to get the cooked meat all in one pile. There's our cooked meat pile. Um, I'll take the water. And I might just leave this. Uh, we could come back in the morning. Well, it is almost morning. <laughs> After I've slept, we could come back. All right, how much time is left on this? 35 minutes. That should be, if the wind doesn't pick up, that should be enough to cook those. I think I just need to get out of here. So we'll use a torch. I'm pretty tired and heavy. I will take a little bit of meat with us. You know what, I'm, do I wanna eat one? Maybe I will. One kilo, these should all just be one kilo, right? Okay. And there goes our torch. Okay, so I'm not going to carry this meat with us. We're just going to go. We're just going to head back to the trailer. I do have a slight risk of intestinal parasites because I ate that piece of meat. It's pretty small, but it is, you know, it is a risk. Oh, so cold. I think in the morning uh, we could also check all these vehicles. And then I gotta keep my eye out for the deer hide and uh, the guts that we dropped. I think this weather is really gonna get bad. But I've got the I got the bear hide in my inventory, so we can get the bear hide and the deer hide curing and the guts, or single gut. So we just have the one deer gut here somewhere. It's probably like right here. There it is. It's a deer hide. Oh, we got a little bit of meat and a gut. Um. There's a chance we might get a wolf. Let's 
So the wind is blowing that way. It's blowing our smell over the mountain. There's a wolf right there. Hey, Wolfie. You know, we do need to level up our archery. I'm gonna drop our smelly stuff. Okay, I'm on flat ground now. Ah. It's kind of strange. Maybe I'll leave these. If he tries to attack me again, though, I'll take another shot. I do want to level up my archery. But I don't want to mess with a whole pack of wolves just trying to get to the trailer. Alright, you are behind me now, so that makes it a little bit easier. I might take a shot at him, guys. I might shoot at him again. If I get him close to the trailer. Because I'm kind of regretting not getting all the guts from the bear. And the sun is coming up. I might intentionally try to get food poisoning tomorrow so I'm, I think I'll sleep for like 10 hours and then I might try to get food poisoning and then we could sleep for another big period of time okay we should have the trailer coming up here pretty soon it's always farther than I think it's gonna be There it is, right there. Um, you know, another thing I just realized, we could possibly come across the, the deer. If I got this wolf on me and we come across the deer, um, you know, I'm gonna take that. I think we threw one of the stones at the bear. Anyway, I'm not concerned at all about our health right now because we've got so much sleeping coming up that uh, we're going to regain all our health. I do want to look around and see if the deer is nearby. It would be kind of nice. Let's look over the hill. Looks like pretty flat ground. Just look over here, see if there's a deer. Okay, no deer. Alright, Wolf, where are you? I can hear you. There you are. It's not the best shot. I'm glad I hit him though. That was not an ideal shot. I 
And he's gonna run off into the cliffs where we're never gonna find him. All right, well, that was an eventful night. Pushed our luck quite a bit there. But uh, it's time to lay down and get some sleep. Okay, oh, I forgot about these guys. Um, Ugh, my tongue feels like sandpaper. Hmm. I think I just need to go to sleep. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Let's get a drink. And we'll sleep for 10 hours. All right, guys, I'll see you in the evening. Good evening, everybody. We've survived 43 days, 22 hours, 35 minutes. We're fully healed. I'm curious. I, I didn't notice if it said anything about our parasite risk. Let's take a look. Now we just have to wait. Looks like still at 1%. The sun is going down. Let's see what the temperature's like. Um, actually, I probably want to drop some stuff. Is it worth getting? You know what? I don't actually need to get the meat back here. I, f I forgot. We already harvested everything, so it's not like I need to get the bags of quartered meat or anything. Oh, you know what I forgot, though? I forgot to drop the bear hide. As always, I forgot to drop the bear hide and the deer hide. Let's do that now. And we got the saplings. Man, I always do that. I always forget about that. Okay. Well, I may just um, push on, then. We may actually push on to the Hushed River Valley. Um, I wouldn't mind trying to find that wolf, though, especially because he's got our arrow. Let me see what our wood situation is like. I've only got three sticks. Okay, I'm going to get some more sticks. And we're way down on our coal. I'm just going to try to drop what I can, what we don't need. Um, I want to try to find that wolf, and then maybe I'll come back and go to sleep. If we can get food poisoning, it might actually be a good thing. Yeah, let's go look for the wolf. Okay, so he ran this way. I don't know if the... Uh, I don't know if the crows will be out in the in the fog like this. I do need to remember to craft up some more fire hardened arrows though. I think we're down to three or four at most. I just heard him die. It sounded like it was that way. Is that him? That's him right there. Well, that was lucky. came out right when he passed away. Get our arrow back. Uh, temperature's not too bad. Could harvest him up if I can. There we go. Let's get him harvested. And he's nice and warm too. It'll make harvesting a little easier. Um, you know what? I'm going to quarter him. Let's just quarter this guy. 
We can uh, take him back to the trailer. This way we'll get the hide and the guts. Nice. I've never felt so cold in my life. Feels like night is coming. Okay, I'm going to peek over this hill real quick. Let's drop all those. I just want to see if there's a chance that the moose is here. I mean, I didn't see any markings. Um, another thing I could do is try to get a rabbit. I am trying to level up my archery. There's a rabbit. Hey, birch bark! I must have missed that before. Is there any more? Alright, let's switch to our fire hardened arrows. Oh man, how in the heck did I miss that? Looked like it was dead on. And where did my other arrow go? Maybe it's not worth trying to get these guys with the uh, the arrows. It's really tough. Finally, got one. Uh, I'm gonna drop him, and I think my other arrow like shot over here, like ricocheted or something. It might be gone. Yeah. There's the other rabbit. Got him. Okay. Oh, I hear the Aurora. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. You can hear the aurora coming. You better hurry. We just have to make it across the road. And I'm too heavy to run. Have to make it across the street. I barely walk with this much gear. Well, I think I'm going to head into the trailer. We'll harvest up all this meat, and I'll get the uh, ptarmigan feathers. And then we might be tired enough to sleep.
put the bow away. I'm gonna get some food. Let's go inside. Okay, this time I'm going to remember to drop the guts and the uh, wolf hide. Wish I'd done that for the for the bear. Okay, those are curing. Now we can harvest the uh, the meat. Oh yeah, I've got these rabbits too. I'm going to harvest them first. Um, 28 minutes. Sure, why not? We'll do it by hand. The Aurora. Okay. Let's get the other one. Thirty minutes. Well, we spent so much time outside with that bear. I don't think cabin fever is going to be a problem for a little while. Okay, there's our meat. Um, let's see how long it takes to harvest these. I'm going to use the saw on these ones. I think before we head into Hushed River Valley, I'm going to want to get this saw back up to good condition. Yes, yeah, so I think Hushed River Valley is going to be fun. Let me know where you think we should go. It's still kind of a new place for me. I have I've been a few a few locations, pretty much just any of the locations that are kind of easy to get to. But I wouldn't mind spending a little bit of time and exploring. Uh, in one of the caves in Hush River Valley, there is uh, Sketchy, Sketchy the Wolf. So that is one hazard. Uh, I gotta watch out for if we head over there. Okay, I'm gonna drop the meat outside. Okay, I'm gonna put the good meat over here, which is uh, the rabbit meat. And then the rest of the meat we can put uh, maybe right here. Okay. You want to get the ptarmigan feathers harvested. Um, any repairs we do on the uh, on the improvised insulation, or any repairs we do on the uh, insulated bedroll, we're going to need uh, ptarmigan down. Um, now the question is, do I want any more guts? So we've got the two guts from the wolf, and we've got one gut from, um, from the deer. Twelve minutes. You know, I, I'll grab a gut for twelve minutes. Sure, let's do it. And really, I need to get some rabbit hide securing, because our mittens are probably getting pretty beat up. OK. 
Okay. Let's get these dropped. So we've got the gut and rabbit hide. Okay, the rest, you know what, we're probably okay. Oh, look, I've already got a rabbit hide. Okay, nice. I'm going to put the rest outside. Okay, we'll leave those here for the wildlife. Now, since we have an Aurora, maybe I will... Uh, I might read a book or something until we're super tired so we can heal all the way. Let's try three hours, see, see what that does. Oh, it's too dark. Okay, well... In that case, we're just going to go to bed. Sleep as long as it will let us. I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, good morning everybody. We've healed our risk of intestinal parasites. Very nice. Let's see what kind of day we have today. A little foggy, but not bad. We've got a supply of rabbit meat and wolf meat. Could possibly cook these up and get to level 5 cooking. Be kind of nice. But guys, I think this is where we're going to call it an episode. I think this has been a pretty eventful one. We did manage to get the bear, get the hide curing, and another deer. A few guts. Got the ptarmigan. And I think we're ready to launch into the Hushed River Valley. So thanks so much for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I do love hearing from you guys. The comments really help me to have fun stuff to talk about. If you, uh, if you notice, I didn't have a whole lot to talk about in this episode. So if there's anything you guys want to talk about, let me know. I love, uh, love the comments. Um, hope you're already subscribed so you don't miss out on the, uh, on the adventure. Uh, but most importantly, guys, I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care.